Hello my friend, Alexandra here, how's it going? Welcome to a new video. Last week in the relationships and sex video, we talked about what great men want in a woman. If you have not seen that video yet, I recommend you watch it and the link to it is below. You probably noticed today that we are not sitting on my couch. What happened? Well, we're here because I have lots to show you. In the fashion and beauty category today, we'll talk about beauty must-haves, specifically products for our face and our hair. Please ask me your questions or leave me your comments anytime, either here or on my Facebook page or using hashtag AskAlexandra on Instagram and Twitter. I always try to reply as much as I can. Now make sure that you're taking notes in all of the categories of interest to you and put that journal to work. If you don't know what the journal is, you're missing out. Below is a link to a short intro video that will give you those details. Also today, every single time you see this popping up, I want you to smile. Smiling is medicine for your soul and a great source of beauty. Pop, smile, pop, you do this. So let's get to the topic, face and hair beauty products that we must have. And I'll start with the basics because I see a lot of ladies forgetting about them. And they are magnifying mirror and eye drops. I'm nearsighted and I also have astigmatism in my eyes there I can't see very well. But you don't have to be a bat like me to miss droplets on your face. Almost every brand of mascara will leave poopies behind and you will want to see those before you leave your home. Eye drops, um, because red eyes are not sexy. With it, you can keep your eyes crystal clear, um, help remove dirt and keep your eyes lubricated. Number two, good eye cream. Perhaps one of the most important things you can do for your face is to invest in eye cream. This is a product in your skincare routine that should never be sacrificed. And don't think of its importance the moment you start noticing crow's feet or expression lines. Preventing is easier than treating. I'm using a combination of affordable and expensive products, but overall I prefer, prefer retinol because um, of its vitamin A and um, that counteracts the effects of aging skin. I use um, retinol correction eye cream from Rock from the drugstore, but try different ones for yourself till you find the perfect one for your skin and for your concerns. And always compare ingredients because expensive is not always the best. By the way, a list of all these products is on my website. It's linked below so you can check it out. Number three beauty must-haves are a good exfoliant and moisturizer. Exfoliation helps scrape away dead skin cells from the surface of your skin, exposing newer ones and leaving your skin looking and feeling healthier. I use a mild scrub from Karen Herzog and I use it with this Olay brush. Um, but I only exfoliate once a week. I don't do it more often because I have very sensitive skin and too much exfoliating can cause irritation. Afterwards, moisturizing is key. Always moisturize. Never go to bed without moisturizing and never leave home during the day without applying it. I personally prefer vitamin C because vitamin C is critical for our bodies in general. But from a beauty standpoint, one of the most powerful functions of vitamin C is the role that it plays in the production of collagen. My favorite product is from Abaji and it's their, their C line. Um, and I use it religiously. When I notice that my face is getting used to the product though, what I do is that I switch um, either between the Karen Herzog brand or Yes to Cucumbers just for about a week or so and then I go back to vitamin C. Number four, use SPF on your face and neck all day every day of at least 50. Um, apply it before your makeup and always have a travel bottle with you as well to reapply or to use for the back of your hands. SPF is one of the best ways to prevent wrinkles and aging. And always treat your neck with the same respect you give your face. I see so many gorgeous women with faces aging so gracefully because they're taking care of them, but they have turkey necks because they were so busy worrying about this and almost entirely neglecting this. Next, on the list is a good lip scrub and lip balm. I use this um, menthol lip buffer once a week to exfoliate. I basically just put a little bit on a toothbrush that I don't use on my teeth, of course, and then scrub away. For the balm, I use a slightly tinted one to get a little color in my lips or I otherwise look a little corpsey. And I have this Pacifica from Target. 
Now, let's talk makeup. The number one beauty must have in my book is a good concealer. You don't have to put on foundation or powder 24 seven, but you do need a good concealer. At any time, we can have dark circles, a pimple or a blemish spot, and with a good concealer, we can hide those. I use one from Smashbox. Second on my list is primer, preferably with some additional SPF. Face primers are most commonly used to prepare your skin for the foundation because it smooths out the texture of your skin and it helps you apply foundation more easily and more smoothly. But it also helps your eyeshadow, your blush, and your lipstick last longer. I personally prefer a slightly tinted primer because it evens out my skin just enough to where I don't have to put foundation or powder every day so I get that evenness without the heavy look. I recently bought this BB Tinted Treatment and I like it, but I actually like this one from Dr. Murad a lot better. So I'll get some more of this the moment I'm done with this. It's for folks with um, acne prone skin so it just feels better for me. Next on the list is a good eyelash curler and tweezers. Now you know I buy cheap as often as possible, but I never sacrifice the eyelash curler and the tweezers. I always stick with solid stainless steel materials. I never get stuff with nickel or alloys to avoid um, any potential rusted areas that could cause infections, that's gross. Then we have mascaras. This is the combination that I use most often. Uh, Lancome adds these little um, extensions at the ends of the eyelashes, making them longer and then this um, cover girl because it separates my eyelashes really well and it also gives a little bit of volume. Next beauty must have is brow pen and brow gel. It's amazing how much more sophisticated you can look with grimmed eyebrows and I will do a tutorial at some point in the future but for right now let me just show you what I'm using. I have this cover girl from the drugstore, you can tell I've been using it, <laughs> and I have a MAC brow set as the gel. If you don't have the gel or if you run out, which happens to me all the time, um, you can use hairspray. <laughs> what I do is that I spray a little hairspray over a Q-tip, I then rub it over my eyebrows after I fill them in with a pencil and then I use um, a brow brush to arrange them really nicely and fix them in place. Cheap fix. Let's keep going. Next beauty must have is to have a rosy blush and I use Maybelline's Dream Bouncy Blush but please be careful with how much of this you put on in general actually because this does not look right. There's nothing normal looking about that and I see too many pretty girls with too much blush. I'm also married to dark pencils. My eyes are pretty big and far apart, so if I was to come in front of you without a little bit of dark pencil contouring my eyes, you'd be like, oh! And this is uh, Urban Decay. Now let's talk hair. The number one on my beauty must-have list is coconut oil. I use it as a hair treatment. I basically warm it up, I apply it over the entire length of the hair, I massage the roots and scalp, and then I put on my hair, I put my hair up and then I put a shower cap over it. If I don't have um, a cap on, I just use a plastic, like a grocery plastic bag. Nobody sees me. Coconut oil is such a good repair system for your hair. Leave it on for at least two to three hours and then wash and style as usual. Number two on the list is an anti-frizz product because we are all victims of freeziness. And this is how my hair looks like without any product help. Very freezy. I've gone through tons of different products. Absolutely nothing worked better than this. I'm addicted to this. This stuff, I spray a little bit at the ends and blow dry and style as usual. I swear the difference this made. If they were to discontinue it tomorrow, I would shrivel up and die. It's even posted in my Pinterest beauty board. That's how obsessed I'm with it. All right, number three, dry shampoo. It's not good to wash your hair every day because you will strip it of its natural oils. So for that reason, I only wash my hair every two to three days and I recommend you do the same. But in between washes, so you don't get oily hair, use dry shampoo. And one of my dearest girlfriends recommended this and I haven't looked back since. It's from Baptiste and it actually smells really nice too. Mmm. Lastly, for an overall beauty must have, I would like for you to consider taking vitamins. Before getting my test results from the doctor recently, I would have recommended you the same things that I was taking at that time. Biotin because it helps strengthen your hair and nails, a daily supplement, etc, etc. But I wasn't feeling good and I haven't been feeling good for the last six months, so I went to the doctor and she tested me for different things thinking I had a thyroid issue. Anyway, results came back with some massive, capital M, deficiencies, some of which 
put me at risk of going blind. And since being on these vitamins every day, vitamins that are specific to what my body needs, I started noticing not only an improvement in my health, but my skin, hair, and nails as well. So please, have your doctor check your vitamin levels and take the according supplements. Always make sure that you're taking what your body actually needs and not overdosing on anything or you know taking too little of something that you actually could use. All right, <laughs> there's more to come in this category. I will have must-haves for our body and conditioning, so please keep an eye out for my future videos. Um, next week in the career and money video, it's gonna come out next Thursday, I will give you tips to help you find what you love. Because how many times do you hear, do what you love and you'll never feel like you're working? But how many times do you actually sit down, try to figure out, and you have such a hard time figuring out what the hell that is? So I will help you. Um, and I will help you because it's pretty hard. I mean, I like to paint my own nails, but I wouldn't necessarily paint other people's nails for a living. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll be first to get these tips and apply them into your life immediately. Um, also, please leave me your comments. I, I really love reading them. It's what drives me to do more and share more. So please voice your thoughts. All my social media links are listed below. And if my work has given you good information, subscribe and join my website for insider tips I don't share anywhere else but alexandrapoltora.com. Plug! Thank you for being in my life and allowing me to be in yours. You are amazing. I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you next time, probably back on the couch. Uh, God, we're everywhere in my house, huh? Um, I appreciate you for being here. Please be kind to yourself and to all those around you.